Welcome to this, the third of our episodes introducing the Arduino. That's the open source electronics prototyping platform that is very popular with enthusiasts all around the world. In this part of our foundation series, we're going to look at one of the features of the Arduino and the Arduino development environment that can be very useful for collecting data or probably more importantly and more usefully for testing your software, helping you get bugs out of it debugging it. And we're going to look at the serial monitor. Now we're going to get started by loading the button sketch we used in part two of our foundation series. So if we go to file examples digital and button, this will open the sketch. Let's make it larger so it's easier to see. Close that one behind. And we're going to verify it. Of course, it'll work, and then we will load it to our Arduino. We're still using the Leonardo. And what this sketch does, just as a very quick reminder, is that it has a button which is connected to pin 2, and there's an LED on pin 13. And when you press the button, the LED turns on. Let's have a quick look at that and press the button and the LED on the board turns on. We also have an additional LED here just to make it easier to see. Let go of the button, the LED goes out, press the button and the LED goes on. Now this is a very simple sketch and you know if you were had a problem with it you could probably find it quite easily. But as your sketches become more complex Sometimes you don't know if a particular part of the sketch, the program, is running. So what we do is to insert some code which uses the serial monitor and it acts sort of like a, a special tool. So if that bit of software is running, it will send some information from the Arduino out on the serial port to the development environment and print it so that you can see it is running. Now we're going to take a little bit of code and add it to this sketch and open the serial monitor window and demonstrate how it works. We have a little bit of code here that we have prepared and I will just very quickly go through it. There is a variable, it's an unsigned long variable called time. Then in the main program loop we're going to add where we want to print some information, these four lines. Serial print, that tells the Arduino to print to the serial port. Because this is in quotes, it prints it as text time colon space. It then sets the variable time to the command milliseconds. A millisecond or millis is the Arduino uh, command or variable which takes the number of milliseconds since the Arduino was last reset or powered on. And then we're going to use the serial print command again. And this time it's got an LN at the end which gives it a return to a new line at the end of it and we're going to print the time. So this should print time colon space and then the number of milliseconds since this bit of code was last used. And then we're going to delay it by a thousand milliseconds, a second, because the program runs so fast that you can't press the switch for such a short time that it will only print once. So this just puts a little bit of delay in and then allows you to be able to release the button without printing it many times. Let's copy this into our code. So I'm going to copy the variable and drop it into the variables section. And then I'm going to copy the loop code. And let's drop that into where it says if the button is, is pressed, is high, it's going to execute. So basically, if the button state is high, is on, it's going to turn the LED on, it's then going to print to the serial port this code. And that's it, that is it set up. So all we have to do now is to verify it, 
upload it and see if it works. And uh, fingers crossed, we haven't made any mistakes, it will. So we'll verify it first. And it's done, so we will now upload it to the Arduino. It says uploading and it's done uploading. And through some very clever technology, we can now open the serial monitor window and we can have on one side of the screen the serial monitor and on the other side of the screen the Arduino. So if I press the button now, we should see on the serial monitor the time. So it says 21,975. So that's 21.975 seconds since we initialized the Arduino, which is when we gave it the new program to run. And if I press it again, you can see it's 40 seconds now, 44 seconds. The LED is coming on and staying on for a second now. It doesn't come off immediately. I release the button because of that delay loop that we put into the code. So that code works very well. Now, as a little challenge, you might like to look at the code and adapt it so that it prints not the number of milliseconds since the Arduino was last reset, but the number of milliseconds since the button was last pressed. Then you could have a game to see how accurately you can calculate the time between two pressings of the button. This is a very useful function. It might not seem so, but when we were developing some of our more complex programs on the Arduino, we very quickly realized that we wish we'd found out about the serial monitor a little bit earlier. It really would have helped us iron out some little bugs in our code. So in this short episode, we have looked at the serial monitor. Now in the next part of our Arduino Foundation series, we're going to look at easy ways to expand the Arduino hardware. And we're going to do that by adding on pre-made additional circuitry using shields. Do check out our website at youcontrolit.tv and you can follow us on Twitter at youcontrolit.tv. If you're watching this on YouTube, do visit the website, but also please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching.